Hey guys, so welcome back to the Sensepop channel for this week's deck profile. We are still going to talk about Broly. We're going to talk about the a promo Broly, but it's not going to be the yellow promo Broly. We are going to go back and we're going to take a look at the black promo Broly because I just want to play around with the different types of Broly that that's available. I just came kind of came back from the movie this week and it was so good. If you have not watched it, you really owe it to yourself to go and watch it. Fans of the Dragon Ball series will not be disappointed by it. Five out of five really, really did a great job on the movie. One of the takeaways from the movie is that uh, they introduced some very, very endearing, endearing character. One of the outstanding one, of course, is Chilai. So this week's deck profile, we're going to play with um, the card, Chilai card that came out as the feature rare for Clash of Fate. And then what we're going to do here is that we're going to make the Black Broly and work with Chilai, try to uh, make the deck work. So a big shout out to the Dragon Ball Broly group on Facebook. They prov they were the ones who provided with one of the combos that is going to be featured in this deck profile. But before we go on to the deck profile, yes, I do have a lot of things to say today. Um, when this video, when you see this video, most probably I'm already on uh, in Southeast Asia for my vacation. That said, I will be missing one of the biggest events in Europe right now for Dragon Ball Super Card Game, which is the European Championship in Manchester. Unfortunately, I am unable to join because I already bought my plane ticket just a couple of days before they announced the date. Just maybe a little bit complained because it's just really, really bad planning. I don't know. I live in Germany. I'm used to planning things way, way, way ahead. No kidding. For those who are going to be there, I wish you all the best. Really excited to see who's going to take home the crown. And also for the top 8 uh, decks that are going to be shown, especially with the new uh, band list. So without further ado, let's see each other after the short intro. Alright. Yo, yo, yo. All right, let's talk about the deck profile. So you can see that this is the yellow, uh, this is not the yellow, this is the black uh, Broly. So what he does is this. He's a little bit complex and kind of difficult to play with, but I'll kind of explain generally how to play with this leader, all right? So for him, when he attacks, you get to choose one life from your drop. And if you put it into your drop area, what you're gonna, what you get is that your opponent uh, would have to discard a card. So you take a life, you put it into a drop area, your opponent discard a card when he attacks. So this not activate main, it's an auto when he attacks. And at the same time, you get to choose to mill up to three cards from your drop area into your, uh, into your, into, uh, from your deck into your drop area. If you do so, uh, your opponent also drops a card. So take note that whether do you want to mill or not, that is uh, that is something that you don't have to do. You, if you want your opponent to drop a card without milling because you don't have Mira or you don't have anything to overwhelm, all you can do is just to take a life, put it into drop area. That will be fine. All right. He doesn't get to draw a card. That's really bad. When he flips, when you flip him over, you get to draw two cards. And what he does on his backside, it's even more complex. So when he attacks. You can choose one of your battle cards, non-token, non-black, so it cannot be an overwhelm card, and it cannot be a cheap token card. I think that's what they are trying to avoid. And you can pop it. If you KO one of your cards, non-token, non-black, when your card attacks, of course you get to draw a card. But then uh, at the same time, if you choose to KO one of your cards, your opponent drops a card. All right, and activate main once per turn. You can drop a card from your hand. This is the very, very powerful ability. Just take a card from your hand, put it into drop area. You KO one of your opponent's battle card. That is very, very strong, um, especially when combining with this particular setup. So what we're gonna play here is we're gonna play with this uh, four copies of Supreme Kai of Time, and she's the overrealm uh, thing, right? So when you have uh, five or more cards in the warp area, this lady kicks off. So you don't have to be four or less. What you need to do is to have five or more cards into your warp area. So how you're going to achieve this is this, that you're going to have 
play four copies of a uh, relentless mirror so what he does is this when you overrun for three cards what he does is that your opponent has to choose a card from his hands and drop it so especially when you start turn two when you have this guy in your hand that is really really great because your opponent is kind of left with four cards if he decides to play a card in his starting um, when he starts or five cards when he plays one uh, energy so what he does is this that you can swing with a broly uh, take one life, puts it in the drop area, meal three. I would really suggest that you meal three instead of meal two because even though he needs three, uh, the reason why you meal th uh, three more, the total of three, so that you get four, is that when you overwhelm him, he goes to the warp at the end of the turn, then your super combo kickstarts, all right? So that's something that you want to do. So uh, your opponent drops the card down to, so if he has five cards, drop two, he, he's down to three. He sh would take a damage from Broly. I do not know why he doesn't want to do it. If he does that, he's down to, uh, he has four cards. The beginning of the next turn, he draws a card five. He puts down an energy. He starts with four cards. So that is something that you want to do. Of course, you are not going to have a big hand, but you just want to have a bigger hand and a bigger board than your opponent. That's what the whole plan is, right? Destroying yourself to destroy him. All right, so this is a clash. This is a new card. So this is a combo that I kind of talk about. So when you play this card, it's a field card. So when you play the uh, green battle card, <coughs> excuse me, from the drop area, you get to draw a card. You will not use this card until uh, you have this guy. So overflowing B.O. Army, finally he's seen some play. For two costs, he's a 15k. So this is a pretty good card, uh, aggressive in that sense. So when this card is placed in your drop area from the battle area, if your leader card is Broly, you may place one card in your hands into your drop area. If you do so, you get to play this card. So the combo is this. This is something, again, from the uh, Dragon Ball's uh, Broly group. What you want to do is... Swing with this guy, swing with your leader uh, on his awakened side. Use your leader's ability, pop him, drop one card into your drop area, bring him out, draw a card with a healing pod, and then your opponents drop a card. So the whole idea is to force your opponent to drop cards and drop cards and drop cards and drop cards. Of course, you're hurting yourself, but with healing pod, you're kind of uh, replenishing it. Of course, you can swing one more time with this guy. Take note that he is not once per turn. Every time he is being placed in a drop area from the battle area. So by effect, or if he's uh, gets he doesn't get KO, he gets removed from minusing his battle point, you can place a card and you get to draw a card. And of course, Freezer Army Port is a once per turn ability. So you could just use Freezer Army Port and if your opponent tries to KO him during uh, his turn, what you can do is that you drop it into drop area, pitch a card, put him back, draw a card. All right, so now we get to play Chilai, and Chilai is something which works really well with this Broly leader because your Broly leader KOs the card, the green Broly leader doesn't. The green Broly leader says place a card from your battle area into your drop area. So take note of that. So Chilai, the beauty, beautiful, so when one of your opponent card is KO'd once per turn, your opponent chooses one card in their hands and drop it, uh, places it into the drop area. So she's also stackable. For two energy, that is pretty nice because what you can do here is if you already have her on the board and you have another piece of her uh, here, you could put a uh, Chilai down, put another Chilai down, use this ability. So you pitch a card, pop one of your opponent's battle card and make your opponent drop a card. So And then swing with him, uh, make your opponent drop two cards because there's two Chilai, swing with him. Then use this ability to pop your uh, bio army, make him drop a card, so he drops three cards in that turn. So you could uh, continue to do this particular combo. Of course, this is the game ender. We have to play one, and he's very good at one game just with this card because your opponent doesn't really think that you're going to go for the game. You're hurting, your opponent is hurting, so your combo power should be slightly above him, especially if you're swinging something like a 20k, which is rather not so painful. Uh, so you're swinging 20k and your opponent's 15, and your opponent has less card than you, go with him, 
30k double strike all right so uh one of the things that you can take note is this guy also pops the card so when he comes out he, he gets to uh, your opponent chooses it's okay because you can this guy chooses this guy your opponent chooses and uh chile although it's once per turn if he pops any card your opponent has to drop two with his ability drop one drop three again yeah so what you can do is when you have him on the board you could play him out your opponent pops a card, swing with him, uh, use his ability to make your opponent drop a card, drop if he still have any cards on the, on the board, use his ability to clear, uh, drop a card and clear whatever is on the board, then tap one energy and bring this guy out. So deathless, if you do not know, you can only play with two Broly leaders, which is the uh, this particular black one, and then uh, the, the, the green one, the OG Broly, right? He evolves on top of Broly for 3, that means he can evolve on top of him, but he cannot evolve on top of himself, so that would be a little bit too OP. We play this card, and if your leader card is Broly, if your opponent uh, may choose one of his battle cards to pop it, if he doesn't do that, if he's unable to do that, then uh, he gets to choose 2 cards from their hands and place it in the drop area. So you could play him out, pop, swing with him. Make your opponent drop one, and because if you have two Chilai on the board, your opponent has to drop two, so drop one, drop two, drop three, then tap one, evolve on top of him, then your opponent has to drop another two. So your opponent drop five at the turn, swing with him, go for the double strike, and then win the game. That's how you win the game. I've never come up, I've never played this guy, and when I played this guy, that means I'm, I'm losing really, really hard. Uh, so this i would think about how to uh should i change anything with this too however so far not really um uh, i just want to have this uh particular theme however without i would say that if you want to change it uh this is the one to remove because i don't think we will ever play something like that because for two energy you could evolve on top of him or him and make your opponent discard too so about three energy it's really a lot in this game yep so i hope uh, that would be the deck profile and uh take note that particular overall mirror you could still play it uh even after you awaken all right so make him drop another one don't swing with him unless uh you're going for game or you're trying to take out something on the board all right and of course uh if the matchup needs you to you could play Inferno Emperor Freezer to help you to uh, take a life to get cards into your hands if you don't want to go the discard route. Alright, so that's that. Take note also full power energy. The reason why I play that over Roshi is of course it's because I'm playing over Realm so I will not uh, get the sparkling effect and at the same time if you if your opponent swings during his turn and if you have Chilai on the board tap one KO one of their uh, black uh one of their one drop battle card and she lies in fact take uh place because it's once per turn it doesn't say it's during your turn so your opponent's battle card has been ko the opponent has to drop further all right so that's that um why is this thing here mm. all right so uh that's for the deck profile subscribe comment i really appreciate we have breakthrough breakthrough to the f over 500 subscriber i thank you guys so 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 much and again for those guys who are going out to the uh, european tournament european championship i wish you all the best and um and uh of course a big 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 shout out to the broly group for um uh, introducing this combo all right so i really have a lot of fun with this deck especially with broly i wish you guys uh i hope you guys too so good ciao all right Bye.